Salutations ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel Maniacal Miniatures. In this week's video that will be a bit shorter than last week's, uh, I will be sharing my thoughts on the Hamlet Games uh, Undead Graveyard Kickstarter which I just got in the door uh, today. So let's check it out. So here we are guys with the contents of a 32 um, euro um, Kickstarter pledge. So this was a limited um, uh, pledge level, and uh, in it you got um, 40 different gravestones in resin. Everything is made in resin. I have just put this uh, little guy, Johan from uh, Warhammer, in here for scale. So you can see uh, what size it is. This guy is uh, 28 millimeter, and this is all made in pretty, pretty good scale for 28. Um, the skulls fit very nicely within the 28 millimeter scale. Uh, I do feel like the gravestones are a bit big, some of them, for this. But, well, some gravestones are very big in real life, so I think that's fine. Um, but this would also work very good with the 32 millimeter, in my opinion. So, um, the Kickstarter just to rewind a bit, is from the Hamlet games. The Kickstarter looked like this at the banner. And uh, there's a lot of contact information here. If you can just, there you go. So you can check that out if you'd like. This Kickstarter has ended. Um, but um, yeah, we got all of these things and I wanted to show it to you because I will be making a graveyard at some point uh, on my channel. And I thought, that this would be a really good base to get it started. We got all these nice uh, Ziploc bags with a lot of swag in them and uh, everything you see on this side, that's uh, the stretch goals. So we got from joining the Kickstarter these um, flat graves uh, with the, the lying uh, grave uh, stones on them. They are very cool and very different. That's not something you see too often. And we have these uh, two things we could use as bases for something or just use them as nice little uh, rocky uh, pieces for the um, for the graveyard. I plan on building on a plastic card so uh, we can mount this right on there to give it a bit of uh, uh, depth and uh, varying heights. There's a little gravestone with this one that goes on top of it like this. Boop. When I cut all the, the bottom resin off, all the, the excess of it. The other things we got was a little obelisk and another gravestone. So we got some extra bits here. And I really like uh, obelisks because it really uh, makes it feel very gothic. Uh, we have a broken tombstone, gravestone, whatever you want to call it. And a little uh, reaper character, which looks kind of cute <laughs> in, a, in a funky way. And we get this very large obelisk. Um, slash monument and I do have an idea uh, to paint um, that and the other obelisks in uh, like I painted my um, my Balefire Vortex last week in this uh, almost obsidian green marble color I think that would look awesome and uh, then we got these little piles of skulls and when I say little they're actually quite big this could easily be used as a, a base for a Warhammer corn character or an orc boss or something like that. As well with this, this would work well for an uh, orc uh, mega boss or something like that. A war chanter, if you wanted to be wanted to be some kind of a major character. Then we have this little cute gargoyle thing, which is uh, very cute and cool. I like that one. I'm looking very much forward to painting that guy. So everything you just saw, that was the um, the stretch goals. Then there was this little additional thing with the, the zombies emerging from the graves, which I think is really cool, but I don't think I'm going to use them for the terrain pieces, unless I'm going to start a death army at some point in the near future, which knowing me might very well happen, but I hope I can stave off the desire. But um, yeah, they look really cool. This guy has uh, a really nice grimace going on. And uh, there is a bit of flash on this, and that's to be expected. But you can just take an old uh, toothbrush and just uh, 
wipe uh, wipe them off with that like so and you will uh, get the worst of the flash off without damaging the model that's a little trick for that so i i i'll say um don't uh, don't dread getting uh, resin miniatures because I have a ton of them and I actually like resin a bit. It can be a bit uh, bendy, but so can plastic in these sizes, and I actually think they are quite all right. We get these little great digger tools uh, made from bone, which is really macabre and really cool. Uh, there's quite a bit of flashing on these uh, specific pieces. That might not be the case for everyone who got them, but um, I do have a little bit of flash on these. But that's very easy to clean off. Another little thing we got was these three little vases or urns or what you want to call them. And uh, they have also a bit of flash on them, but that's cool. Um, it's very easy to, to clean off with a knife or perhaps even with the brush. You get this little uh, product placement uh, stander here. You could, it, it almost looks like... Um, the one from uh, the sign from the, the Springfield Retirement Home, uh, which makes for a very interesting uh, conversation piece. <laughs> if you file this off, you can easily use this as a, as a sign of some sort or another tombstone. Well, and now on to the main bit. In one of this, this is actually two sets of gravestones with uh, 20 in each, and they are all unique, so they aren't, aren't two the same. Two of those they call gravestone, and this package is actually what I would call obelisks, um, which are these two things. Looks great, and uh, they're different from the one I got in the stretch goals, so that's cool as well. We got these two gravestones, and there are a little writing on them, um, which will pick up uh, shade very nice, as well as all these little cracks and. Um, indentations it's like it's been pricked with a needle so it looks very much like stonework which is awesome and another thing that's great about these is um, they come on this um, this big thick sprue so you can actually mount this on some piece of cardboard or just hold it like this and then uh, prime spray all these uh, guys and then paint them on the rack which will make it much more easy easy to handle and I think I'm actually gonna do that I'm gonna clean off um, the, the stones from uh, from the little um, uh, flash and uh, leftover resin and make them nice and pretty and then I'm gonna uh, wash it of course everything that's resin must be washed in soap um, lukewarm water and soap uh, to take off some of the uh, there's some some sort of non-stick um, uh, medium on them uh, from when they were in the molds and then, uh, then just paint them as they are on the rack, like a little uh, assembly order here. That will be great. So I'll just go slowly past these and the other side. And I feel like these are really good quality, uh, especially for the price. 32 euro aren't that expensive for gravestones, in my opinion, especially because um, some of the competitors are very much generic in their gravestones and these are very unique each and every one of them looks very different which will look great on a on a set terrain piece and it's a uh, great as well for um, Warhammer the Age of Sigmar if you play uh, the legions of Nagash you will be able to make some really cool looking graveyards uh, for gameplay if you want to make your own and that's something I had in, in the back of my head when I bought these um, because I had a small idea to start a bit of a night haunt army. Um, that is still some ways off. I still need to save a bit to get some of that. But that would be cool for this to be used in that. And I could make a ton of graveyards. I'm not entirely sure how many you need for gameplay. I haven't really uh, put myself into that too much. Um, but these would be definitely be great for that if you want to make some really cool and different pieces. Also, if you just wanted to use the, these for models, they have very nice bases on them, um, so they don't tip over too easily. And you can glue these with super glue onto your base, and then make uh, ghosts uh, come out of the, the the tombstones, which would be really cool as well. You have f enough for forty guys here, and perhaps even more if you use some of the, um, the obelisks and, and the broken tombstone as well from the uh, stretch goal. 
So that's quite a few as well, and you can always uh, supplement it with uh, the generic ones. Um, so that's one option, or you could make them stand all the way at the back of a base, and then uh, have a zombie come out of the, the base. There's some really cool ideas for these, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much uh, very happy with this. I, th I think it was a, a bargain for the price. 32 euros, that's very okay in my opinion. So for for the amount I got, oh yeah, I also got these two. These can hardly be called any more than sample packs at this scale because there won't be enough for me to use on everything I plan on doing. And I won't be using these on something that will go on my main terrain if I cannot get more of this. You want this um, coherency across all your terrain features, or at least I do. Um, so I won't be using these, I think. Um, at some point I might even just give it away along with some other stuff when I get a little um, <laughs> when I get a, a backlog of things I don't need I can always ship them out to some of you guys um, and you can have fun with them but anyways back to the point I think this is very good value for 32 euro solid resin and uh, the variety it's great the quality great minimal flashing awesome they have nice flat bases so you don't need to do a lot of filing some of them have uh, some of some of the resin pieces you can get have terrible bases and you need to file a lot and resin is not the greatest thing to file because it's uh, uh, toxic so you need to use an, uh, an, an mask a mask when you do it that's a little something to remember uh, don't inhale this dust um, yeah but otherwise that's just to say this is great value and I highly recommend the the Hamlet games here they are again if you want to check it out check them out I uh, I really like them and I look very much forward to using these in um, in some sort of terrain feature so hope you liked it that was it for this short review of Hamlet games undead graveyard Kickstarter I hope you liked this video if you did like it consider leaving it a thumbs up and subscribe as it helps me and my channel out quite a great deal and I really appreciate it if you'd like to see another review I've made, you can check out this video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that too. And all that's left to say is in the immortal words of Audrey Hepburn, the most important thing is to enjoy your life, to be happy. It's all that matters. See you in my next video.